Today, we are going Pokemon hunting at the flea market. Specifically, we're gonna be looking for Pokemon mystery packs, singles, and maybe some other stuff. But the flea market's only open on Sunday, and it's, it's Sunday, we gotta go. All right, so we've made it into the flea market here, and there's no real cards in this booth, but I do see some Pokemon Pops. Tristan, anything you're looking for in here? Well, actually, now that you're pointing out Pokemon Pops, you've got the Pikachu on Flareon, yes. and then check in and the then... top left there, the 10 inch Pikachu. Oh boy, wow. That now, one's a great figure. I'm thinking one day I might go for, now what's above the 10 inch? There's 10 inch, and then there's, there's 18 inch. And funny enough, the 18 inch is actually worth less than this one. Like the 18 inch goes for about like, I think like about a hundred bucks and this one's worth like about 150 here. Ironically enough, because I, I know. Like I don't know. I feel like for Pokemon Pops, bigger is better, but it is funny. maybe that's just me. All right, so we've made it to one of the Pokemon booths over here, and we'll start in the little glass case. So a couple of V's, V-Stars, gold cards, some more vintage stuff. There's that Pikachu there. Swampert from one of the earlier sets. Actually, I think that's one of the, not the E-Reader, but the Wizards of the Coast, maybe? Uh, shiny Zigzagoon. Ooh, Team Plasma Vaporeon T. Aren't you uh, kind of a Vaporeon? I know your, your hands are a little I am, full I right am, now. Yeah. But... Sorry, I've got a big box on me here. Yeah, I know. But I'm also noticing above that too, the Pikachu. I do need that yeah, one. Yeah, I, I noticed you saw that one, one there. I don't have that. And going a little bit lower down here, some other cool stuff. The Salamence V, another Giratina. And then I guess we can kind of sweep over to the other side. There's a couple in here. The Electabuzz, and I think that one, oh, that one's not from Evolution, so that's from another set. Latios, the Genesect V, Mewtwo V Star. Just looking, a couple of the tops card, and then they're gonna have some Lego down there. All right, guys, and I completely missed this other side of the cabinet, so a bunch of shining cards in here. And then there was one that I actually saw down here, a Lugia Full Art, the Typhlosion, and I think a little bit lower, the Umbreons and the Garchomp V. I might go for that Garchomp today, pretty cool there. Been checking in the case over here. The Xerneas GX Full Art is pretty cool. A couple gold cards, more rainbows. Kingdra Prime, check that one out for 30. It's a pretty cool one there. A couple more of the vintage ones. Haunter and E-Reader Umbreon. Ooh. Moving on to the Vulpix Full Art in here. A couple more down here. The Friends in, or, uh, the Friends in Galar Japanese card. That one's pretty cool. Lugia, then we're gonna move on to a Rayquaza EX. Ooh. T, I was talking the other day about the, the deck box that we saw at the one store with the oh, Rayquaza right. EX. Now, it's a similar one they have here, but it doesn't come in a full deck, so you, maybe... I mean, here's the thing. Do you need the whole deck? Like, the 10-buck card is probably what you were just looking for, right? No, I know, and it's kind of neat, but I feel like the deck to have as a sealed thing would be pretty neat, so... That's true. I'll take a look at that today. All right, checking out the case down here. I'll do the bottom first. There's a couple of the playmats, and I've kind of been looking to get a new playmat. I don't know if I'm going to get one today, but I know I'm going to have to upgrade my Arceus one eventually. And then moving on to the case here... I'll just do a little pan through. So we have the Zacian kind of alternate art from the Trainer Gallery for Astral Radiance, Titar and Sableye alternate art, and then Volo Japanese card. They did have a Japanese Mewtwo in here. I think they kind of sold it, so that's a little unfortunate. I know this booth does have some Japanese cards and I might go for one of them today, but I just gotta kind of find the one I was looking for. But yes, there is a lot of cards in here. Right, so we've made it to Urban Card Breaks. I'm just checking out the more of the sealed collection boxes section. So they are going to have a bunch of the Zenith ones. And then Tristan's moving set of the way. They have a Hidden Fates Zora GX box with the Greg I'm on this Chinese Zora. Yeah, it is pretty cool. There's a bunch of packs in there. Those ones are going to run uh, a little bit expensive. Might be out of our budget today. But down here, they're going to have a bunch of the 10s. And then the Zora V-Star collection boxes. I do really like the promos in them. I just don't know if it's going to be today. And I'm probably going to get some of the mystery packs here and maybe some singles. All right, so just quickly checking out the case in here. The Charizard V-Star promo is really, really cool. I do like that one in there. A couple more, some ones from Evolutions, Charizard V-Max. A lot, a lot of Charizards in here, actually. There is an Oranguru gold card there. Now, I did pick up a gold card already, but I'll save it till the end of the video for you guys to check out. Uh, couple rainbows down there the urshifu alternate art that's from battle styles pretty cool one there but yeah a lot of cool stuff in here and i have picked up some stuff already but you're gonna have to wait till the end of the video to check that out all right so we are back from the flea market and i picked up a lot of stuff there was a couple booths that had mystery packs that i didn't know they had mystery packs at and i think this was more or less their first time doing them i don't know if it was this week or i've just haven't been there in a little bit and they've been starting to kind of do them but i was able to pick up in total i think five different mystery packs so our goal of getting mystery packs at the flea market was successful i did pick up a couple other things so i guess Let's show off. I did pick up one single. You know, I'm, I'm kind of a sucker for random singles. So the one I did pick up today was the Gold Galarian Zapdos card from Brilliant Stars. Now, I saw Tristan pick this one up the other day for his Brilliant Star sets, and I'm like, oh, man. I'm like, I, I had the full art Galarian Zapdos. I'm like, it looked really nice, but I'm like, man, the gold card looks, uh, looks a little bit better. So I was a sucker, and I picked it up today. 
So we got that one, and then I did get two single boosters, one of which you guys are probably going to be like, why would you even buy this? So I did get one Lost Origin, and we're still looking for two cards, so the odds of us pulling those cards in here are very, very slim, but you never know, we might get them. And then I was able to get one pack that I have never even opened up before, and it is very new, and that is a pack of Pokemon Violet EX from Japan. So the brand new set, first wave of EX cards from Scarlet and Violet, uh, I haven't opened up the uh, Japanese pack like ever, so this will be my first time and we get to experience it together on camera. And then also from Urban Card Breaks, if you guys saw the last video, you'll know I actually pulled in one of the mystery packs free sleeves. So I got my free sleeves today. I got my Giratina sleeves in there, so that was pretty nice of them to remember that. And then I guess we can show off some of the mystery packs. So from the first booth we checked out, which is the Mighty Magic Carp. And I got two mystery packs. So these are the same. This one, he said he just didn't, he was sold out of them. So he didn't have time to make up the little font on the other one. So they are the same. They contain the same things. Some are, well, similar things. They are the mystery items. But this one's just obviously packaged a little bit different. But yes, as you can see, the uh, one to two boosters, a VMAX, V-Star, and then some random cards in there. Along with this one too. And then, from also from Mighty Magikarp, he was... So he was offering these kind of mystery tins and he was telling us about them and then he said he's like well I don't actually have any ready right now so I'll I'll make you one up so I was like okay why not so while we were shopping around the booth he made us a mystery tin up so I have no clue what's in here I haven't opened it up at all like it's it's not sealed so I could but I haven't so uh, we'll be able to crack into that and see what we get in here because this was a more expensive one than than like the uh, the little mystery packs so there's no packs in this but I know there's a lot of I think he said like a bunch of singles cards and like you'll get a good amount of hits and then from our probably our favorite booth at the flea market from urban card breaks we got two of the classic mystery bags that we opened up last on the channel so you guys know kind of what to expect on here so I'm I'm pretty excited to open these ones up and yeah so I think first I'm just gonna start off with the two single packs we got so we'll just do Lost Origins off the hop here and we did get this one also from Urban Card Breaks so you know I do not know really what to expect with this one I'm just kind of you know I, I got it just because I was like you know what I haven't opened up Lost Origins in a little bit I say that like it's been years when in reality it's probably been a couple weeks but I haven't opened it up in a little bit and I'm like you know what why not let's oh boy well I picked a good pack the the Charizard Trainer Gallery card there, very, very nice. That one's definitely going to get a sleeve, so if I can get the sleeve the right way. Nice Charizard with Leon in there. So that one is actually one of the more expensive yellow border Trainer Galleries in the set. I, I know that one and the Pikachu kind of run a little bit higher. But anyways, moving on to the next thing, and I am going to bust out the scissors here. Uh, the Scissors of Death, if you guys saw the other video which these scissors were used. And we're going to crack into this Pokemon Violet pack. This is crazy, guys. I have never opened any Japanese pack, so this is like my very, very first time I don't know if there's a pack trick to this I don't think there is so we'll kind of get to I guess see this all together and all right oh look at that with the silver border on there too guys so yeah there is just I just want to make sure I didn't miss any cards okay yes because it is just should just be yeah just five cards in there okay so I guess we'll just kind of go through this like this and the names on here are all in Japanese that is a clauncher or clawwitzer and be okay nice and okay so we got no holographic maybe that's an english thing that you're guaranteed holographics but again some japanese cards i mean you can't go wrong i haven't opened up this up ever so this is all new to me but it's pretty cool to get some japanese cards all right i guess now it's time to get into kind of what we uh we expected with the video some of the mystery pack so i think we'll start off with the ones from the mighty magic card first so let's just crack into this one the unmarked one and these ones are again going to have the uh, kind of one booster pack and then some singles and whatnot in it so starting off with a pack of chilling rain okay and then yes a bunch of singles in there so i guess we'll do chilling rain first crack into this one a couple cards from chilling rain obviously are well i was gonna say our zapdos but more of the zapdos alternate art i feel like is what we're kind of looking for now so yeah chilling rain and i don't know what to expect in the rest of the pack i know we're we're supposed to be guaranteed a v or v max or one along the lines of those like ultra rare hits so that'll be pretty cool to see if we get anything like that oh nice a cobalion hollow and i guess we can start checking out kind of what's in the rest of the pack okay nice so a duraludon v and an aerodactyl v so pretty cool there and then just in here some other bulk oh okay wait there are they all shallows Wait, what? That's crazy. But the old, a oh, nice uh, vintage Shellos card there. Or I guess not vintage, just a little bit older. Seismitoad, Pimplup, Primplup. 
are these all like water types? Well, that's kind of neat. I guess they're all kind of, yeah, they're all, it's a complete water type. So maybe if they're kind of typed or themed around something, that's pretty neat. But yes, the two V cards we did get into were Aerodactyl and Duraludon. Duraludon from Evolving Skies and then Aerodactyl from Ancient Origins. So I guess we can just set those to the back there. And we'll get on to the next mystery pack from Mighty Magikarp. And this is the one that's actually, I guess, marked correctly and in an envelope. So, okay, so... I guess we'll do this one first, which is another pack of Chilling Rain. So it seems like that might be the kind of uh, consensus pack which is going to appear in these mystery packs. And again, I was not told what was going to be in here. He said that he gave me kind of a, a brief description of what packs could be in there. So it was like Astral Radiance, uh, Evolving Skies, and then obviously Chilling Rain. So there were a couple, there was a variety of packs you could get in here. I think I just got maybe, un, I don't even know if unlucky is the word, but uh, I just got two Chilling Rain. And then in the rest of the mystery pack here, all right, so a damage counter. And then I guess these two are going to be our kind of big hits. So I'll leave those there and let's go through these. So Vespa Queen, that's pretty cool. Um, just, yeah, just some other kind of random cards randomly in there, a couple energies. And then our two big cards here. Cool Lucario sleeve on that one, actually. Not, not too bad. Okay, so our first one here is going to be a Slacking V. And our second one in the Lucario sleeve is going to be... All right, okay, cool. So a Blissey V. So two normal type V cards. Pretty nice there. I mean, in Mystery Packs, when you get an actual, like, hit in it, I think it sweetens the deal. Like, and the pack part of it, too, is, like, you're always... You always can actually get something good. So that's always nice. And I guess up next we can kind of do the, and I guess up next we can get into the mystery tin here. So I guess we'll just slide this off first. Okay, so first off, I see there's going to be, all right, so there's already a big uh, a hit on the front. I'll show you that in a second. But yeah, just a bunch of celebration sleeves, uh, two vivid voltage, just a bunch of sleeves in there. I don't know how many there are. It's a good amount though, as you guys can see there. So I guess if you do get any good hits out of these, you can sleeve them up, so that's pretty nice. And then I guess, okay, so just in a bag. All right, so right off the back, we're, or we're seeing the Omastar V from, I believe it's Silver Tempest. And I'll just kind of try to grab all these cards out and we'll go through them kind of one at a time. Yeah, this this stack is uh, is definitely thick. Oh, look at that. Okay, so three V cards off the hop. So Blissey, Mawile, and Omastar. I guess we'll just have to start setting these over top of the Zapdos. And I'm just going to have to kind of like half this right now. Just because there is kind of too many to hold in here. <laughs> but anyways, so just a couple more reverse hollows. So it's good that these are all holographic cards. Joltik's actually a little bit of an older card. Okay, now we're getting into some that are actually sleeved. We have our Glade from Astral, Jumpluff, Sneasler, Rillaboom's actually pretty cool. Copperjaw, and then Adaman, Regigigas. Ooh, Tristan might like that one. Absol, Eevee, and these are all sleeved up. Raichu, Gyarados from Pokemon Go, Melmetal. Fanf okay, so, okay, okay. So we're getting into some Vs again, and I can see that this is gonna be a couple of them. So we have Ursaluna, Another Aerodactyl. Ooh, okay, okay. So a Galarian Articuno V from Chilling Rain. I need that. Oh, okay, okay. So we're actually getting full arts in here. So Verizion V full art, and then behind that is an Aerodactyl V star. So actually, so a, a lot of good hits in this mystery tin. So that's pretty nice. Uh, I mean, full arts are full arts. Can't go wrong with those. So we'll set those to the back there. And there is the other half of the box I still do have to go through. So I'm pretty sure this might just be kind of more of the uh the bulk cards in it just kind of the filler i know you're kind of mostly paying for the big hits in it but you know more cards i guess for like certain people are nice who are trying to like complete a certain set or anything like that is always good to get because you never know you could get a card in here that you've been looking for for a little bit but yes there is just mostly bulk is what it's going to appear like oh yeah so nothing too too crazy in there a couple energies like good for building decks maybe if you're looking into doing like more of the competitive aspect of tcg so that is one way to look at it but uh yeah all right oh and i forgot to mention there was one booth at the uh end of the thing that i didn't really get a chance to film it was the same booth last time that i bought the um if you saw the trainer gallery or beetle in i actually was able to pick up this tin they had it on sale um I'm not going to be opening it up today. I'm going to save it for a later video, but I, I just remembered I had it off to the side and I thought you guys would like to know if I what I did pick up. So I also picked up this. So stay tuned. This will probably be in another video or a short soon or I'll take the packs out of it. But yeah, definitely stay tuned for this. But anyways, enough of stuff I won't be up opening up today and on to stuff I will be opening up. We do have our final two mystery packs from Urban Card Breaks here. So I'm, so yeah, I'm kind of hoping we can maybe get the free sleeves again in these ones. That would be pretty cool. Um, I mean, 
last time it was just kind of neat to see that what you could get in there. So looking in this time, let's slide this out here. Just want to make sure I got everything. Oh, I did miss one thing is a little Machoke figure up there. I'll add it with my Cloister, which I do have on top of all my ETBs up top. So I guess we'll just skip to the kind of hits first. So we have, oh, we're actually gonna get Japanese cards in here too. Okay, that's pretty neat. So Haunch Crow V, uh, a Sand Glass sticker, and I kind of guess, uh, so Battle Styles. So we'll save Battle Styles for a second and I'll open up these cards because these might be all Japanese or at least one of them is the Japanese War Turtle. Yeah, so okay, so a couple of random cards inserted there. I do like the Japanese War Turtle. You do get a sleeve with that too. So, I mean, can't complain there. And then, yeah, I guess we'll open up Battle Styles and see what we can kind of get in here. Wouldn't mind an Empoleon alternate art. I have kind of been eyeing that card. I've been considering actually just like buying it straight up but I'm hoping to pull it. I don't know if that's gonna happen today. That would be awesome if it did, because I mean, an alternate art out of a mystery box, or a mystery bag, I guess, would be very, very, very cool. So, Mankey, Galarian Slowpoke, Ore Beetle, Hollow, or not Hollow, Reverse Hollow, and then into a Bolton Regular Rare. All right, guys, and the last pack for the day. I just wanna make sure I don't cut anything here. So, hopefully we can get I'm hoping, see, I've opened a couple of these and I haven't got the two pack mystery bags yet. I don't know what the odds are on getting them, but okay, so little horsey there to start off with. Again, I'll throw that up top with my cloister and my machoke and then sliding this out. Okay, so it looks like we're gonna have another battle styles in there, not too bad. I don't mind battle styles too, too much. And then a sleeve top loader. And okay, so this is going to be our, oh, okay. There's a, I have a cool little story about this card actually. I've had, I had Zygarde EX for a really, really long time and I recently traded it away to Noah for a couple other cards and it kind of, you know, I was like, ah, you know, it's a nice card, I, but I kind of wanted it back. So I'm glad we got it in this mystery, this mystery bag because I really like the black and white, uh, X and Y EXs, so I'm really glad we got Zygarde back. I'll set Zygarde back with Verizion back there, and we'll check in the kind of random assorted cards first here. So, another Japanese card, so that's cool that they've added those to these mystery bags. And then on to Battle Styles, our final pack of the day. Same thing stands, we're hoping for a Empoleon alternate, or any Empoleon in general, I would say. So, yeah, I guess we'll just kind of get into this one, see what we can get. Hopefully an Empoleon or a uh, Tyranitar full art that would be also acceptable, I think. So, Mawild, Murkrow, and in the rare we're going to have... Ooh, Santa Scorch, regular rare. But anyways, guys, that has been it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed me opening up all these mystery packs and checking out the flea market again. I'm definitely gonna be back there soon, so I'll probably pick up more mystery packs. Hopefully next time I can actually get some more singles. This time I didn't get too, too many, but uh, anyways, that's been it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.